This is the first panel which displays when booting from the Verde OS installation CD-ROM. The administrator can select the installation option. Here I'm selecting Quick Install, which automatically partitions the server hard drives. The next screens are no different from a typical Linux installation. I first select the language of the operating system, then the language of the keyboard, and the time zone, and you can see that now the system is formatting my hard drive. Verde starts the installation process and copies the files to the hard drive of the server. This uh, phase can take between 10 to 15 or 20 minutes, depending on your hardware. To shorten the presentation, I'm not going to record the whole thing, but skip to the next step after the server reboots. Once the installation is completed, the server restarts, and I will continue the setup with the Verde menu. I first select the network adapter to configure and enter the parameters, IP address, VLANs, NIC bounding when needed, the DNS, the server role, the public address of the server, the storage mount point, and we are back to the main menu. After testing the network, we will be ready to start the Verde services. Let's select option 4. At this point, the Verde server is up and running and the configuration is complete. You usually only come back to this menu to stop and start the Verde services, reboot or shut down the server, or generate a support report to troubleshoot the system. This concludes our Verde OS installation demonstration. Thank you for your attention.